Hey there movie fans, welcome to the Blues of November 2015. First off, I'd like to give a shout out to Replay Video 82 uh, a YouTuber from the UK. He has a fantastic collection and uh, I enjoy watching his update videos. You know, he has a great taste in movies and a, a great knowledge of movies as well. And he doesn't have a lot of subscribers, I believe he has about 28 subscribers which is way too low so please go check him out and su subscribe to him he deserves to have a lot more subscribers than he has now uh, so go check him out replay video 82 the link is below okay let me show you the, uh, the blu-rays that I've gotten I have no DVDs this time only blu-rays and the first one is the um, metal pack of Godzilla you see this, uh, Andrew? I finally got it. You know, there's a YouTuber named uh, Andrew Wilson who, you know, always kind of uh, asks when I'm going to get this one. But I finally have it now, Andrew. As you can see, uh, this is uh, what was it? The Target exclusive, I believe. Uh, I think it was. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. Sorry for my uh, for my uh, ignorance there. But this is a, a, a wonderful release. This is all. And boss, of course, and uh, the tail here as well. And of course, it makes a sound. So it's a very nice. And I like the movie a lot. Even though I do have some problems with it, uh, the main problem that I have, and this is going to be a spoiler, by the way, but the main problem that I have is the death of Brian Cranston's character. I thought that was completely unnecessary. And it would have been a lot better if they kept him alive. You know, it would have also been interesting if they developed more on the father-son relationship, you know. So that's, that's a shame, really. They should have kept him alive. But uh, I did enjoy it a lot, Godzilla. Uh, Goodfellas. No need to say anything about this one. This is just a brilliant, brilliant film by Martin Scorsese. And a wonderful release. Uh, it also has a booklet in there, and it has the uh, the 4K restoration, which looks amazing. A lot better than the previous Blu-ray release, which I also have. Uh, you know, the uh, Digi Book edition. But the transfer on this new uh, edition looks a lot better. Yeah, nothing else to say. Just a uh, you know a brilliant movie. I finally have the complete collection Blu-ray set of the Chucky movies, Child Play 1, 2, and 3, and then of course Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, and Curse of Chucky, which I like a lot, by the way. I thought it was a lot better than I uh, expected. Seed of Chucky, I I just fucking hate that. You know, the, the, the son of Chucky, just an incredibly annoying character. I mean, every uh, horror franchise has its own stinkers you know Halloween has resurrection Texas Chainsaw has a next generation and uh, Chucky has seed of Chucky so but um, yeah it's great to have this finally it was on sale at Amazon so I, ju I just had to uh, I had to grab it I uh, picked up the UK steel book of Dr. Terror's House of Horrors with Peter Cusing and uh, Christopher Lee Donna Sutherland uh, very entertaining uh, horror anthology by Amicus. Uh, very nice steelbook as well. This is uh, limited to 4,000. And my number is up here, as you can see. That is 1305. Very nice uh, release. Also to come with a booklet. Has some interesting extras as well. Uh, two documentaries. One about Christopher Lee. And the other about the making of this film. That was directed by uh, Jake West. Who also did the two documentaries about um, uh, video nasties but this looks good really good you know very beautiful steel book the only thing I do not like is the spine you know there's no title on the spine so that's that's a shame there but it's a very nice release despite that and uh, an excellent uh, anthology and speaking of horror anthologies from Amicus, I have the double feature Blu-ray release from uh, Screen Factory, 
with Tales from the Crypt and Vault of Horror. Very nice release, this one. I've seen Tales from the Crypt a long time ago, and I do remember enjoying it a lot. I also like this uh, uh, episode with, uh, I believe this is Peter Cusing as a, uh, as a zombie. Joan Collins there being uh, terrorized by Santa Claus. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen Vault of Horror. I, I might have, but I just, I have no recollection of, of ever seeing this movie. But I, I have to, I'm going to watch these movies uh, very soon, of course. So. Yeah, great release by Screen Factory. And speaking of Tales from the Crypt, I also grabbed these two, uh, Demon Knight and Bordello Blood. Love Demon Knight. This is a great uh, horror comedy. It has the, uh, you know, the alternative or the original uh, uh, cover there. But I, I love the uh, uh, these artwork on the on the front, especially these. These look really good. But Demon Knight is an action film. This is a, a lot less than Demon Knight, but still, you know, it has some entertaining moments. But I heard that the uh, the making of the film, you know, wasn't didn't go very well. You know, uh, Dennis Miller, for example, turns out to be a bit of a jerk and all. Uh, let me show the uh, the other artwork there with the crypt keeper. That's very nice. But uh, yeah, these are excellent uh, excellent releases by Screen Factory. And I still need to get the uh, the TV series of uh, Tales from the Crypt. I only have season one, and I still need to get the other season, so really have to grab those someday. And I have some more vampire movies, uh, The Hunger, which I really love, by the way. Uh, it's the first movie done by uh, Tony Scott, and um, I know that uh, people are saying this is more style over substance, but... I have no problem with that. I love the style of this movie, uh, even though it's very 1980s and all, but it, I, I really like it a lot. And uh, uh, David Bowie, great actors, by the way, David Bowie, Catherine Deneuve, uh, Susan Sarandon. I thought it was an excellent vampire movie, really. And uh, the transfer looks great. I was afraid that this might be uh, one of those... Uh, DVD R's or Blu-ray R's, but I, I don't think this is a uh, Blu-ray R. It looks like a legit Blu-ray release because you know Warner Archive Collection is known for its um, DVD R uh, um, releases and all. But um, yeah. I don't know. I don't think this is. I think this is a uh, original Blu-ray. Uh, but even though, the, even if it's not, the uh, the transfer looks terrific, really. And there's another vampire movie, John Carpenter's Vampire from Twilight Time. Really like this movie a lot. Uh, James Wood is just fantastic in this. You know, as the uh, the leader of these, uh, you know, vampire hunting uh, group. And it's actually a shame, um, and this is going to be a spoiler by the way, so cover your ears, but it's a shame that his team gets killed early on in the movie. I would have loved to see more of his team in action, you know. Uh, but despite that, it's just a very entertaining movie. And a nice release by um, Twilight Time. Sort of a um, you know, western, a modern day western with vampires, and I, I liked it a lot. You know, I loved the uh, I loved the beginning of the of the movie where they go to this abandoned house somewhere in in the what is it New Mexico I believe, I think it was not not exactly sure. Sorry about that, but uh, I liked the beginning of it. Yeah, speaking of John Carpenter, this is one of his best movies, without a doubt. Escape from New York, uh, also a Twilight 
uh, no, sorry, Scream Factory release, and a beautiful release as well. Lots of uh, special features there. And here's the original artwork. Fantastic movie, absolutely. Still looks very good on on the uh, high def, by the way. And I love the artwork with the Snake Bliskin and his big gun. Yeah, great, great stuff. I finally picked up the Stepfather, uh, which is an excellent, excellent toilet with um, Terry O'Quinn. You might know him from uh, Lost. Um, but in my opinion, this is his best performance in the, in his career, really. I mean, he's such a... You know, he, he, he delivers such a brilliant uh, performance in, in this movie. And um, don't even bother watching the remake. You know, just avoid it as plague. I mean, I've I've never seen the remake and I, I never will see it. And um, I have seen the, the trailer of the remake. And it felt like I've seen the entire movie in just two minutes. And that's more than enough for me. But, uh, you know, do go check this out. This is... A, a terrific movie, The Stepfather. And here's another terrific movie, only it's a lot different than uh, The Stepfather, of course. Uh, Inside Out by Disney Pixar. Wonderful movie, this one. Uh, it's great to see that uh, Pixar is back, uh, back in, you know, top form. Um, of course, the previous movie they did before this one, like Cars 2 and Un uh, Monsters University, they were still, you know, fun, but uh, story-wise, they were disappointing because you know, Pixar has always been um, great in making movies that has good stories, uh, and you know, the, the previous movies did, didn't have a, a good story, but this one does have a, a wonderful story, and uh, you know, the visual looks amazing. Uh, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was moving at times and I thought it was very funny at times and uh, I think this is uh, their best movie since well since Up really uh, really great film and this is the, uh, the Dutch Steelbook which also comes with the um, bonus disc there with a lot more you know special features oh so, yeah Inside Out Absolutely loved it. Now here's a name I'm pretty sure I'm going to butcher. Uh, Roroni Kenshin? Roroni Kenshin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I said it wrong. Sorry about that. But this is the, uh, the, uh, the trilogy based on the manga, the popular manga. And of course there's also, uh, also an anime version of it. Um, only seen the first one. But I like that one a lot, and can't wait to see the uh, the other two. Now this, I I know there, there's also a, a UK two books of each of these movies, um, but I went for this one in case this is the Dutch uh, Blu-ray release, which has all three movies in there, and this was a lot cheaper than those two books. Now if I if I would have bought those two books, I would have paid about 30 euros each although the steelbook of the first movie is out of print so I might have it, it, that that one might have cost me a lot more but uh, this set cost me about 19 euros which is a lot more cheaper than you know getting those steelbooks so I'm happy with that and um, yeah it looks good I, you know I love my samurai movies so I can't wait to see the uh, the other two. Now here is a movie that has an incredible backstory. It all started in 1969 when Tippi Hedren, who was the star of Hitchcock's The Birds and Marnie, and her filmmaker husband Noel Marshall were making a movie in Africa. And then one day they went on safari and they came across this abandoned uh, game warden's house which was full of lions you know they were everywhere in in and around the house and Norm Marshall thought this would be a good idea for a movie so the next 11 years they dedicated their life you know making this movie possible and they um, 
they bought many uh, cups, you know, of these wild cats, you know, lions, tigers, cheetahs, uh, leopards, and all that. And they raised them on their own. And um, when they were big enough, they and, and they had the money together, they could finally make the movie. And the making of this movie didn't go very smoothly. I mean, if you look at this tagline over here, no animals were harmed in the making of this movie. 70 ca cast and crew members were. I mean, this pretty much says it all, right? I mean, Tibby Hedron was hurt, and she had to be hospitalized when she was uh, attacked by a lion. Uh, same thing with her real-life daughter, Melanie Griffiths. She was also, um, you know, hurt as well. In fact, there is a picture at the back here. Uh, this is Melanie Griffith. She was very young. She was in her early teens. This is Tibby Hedron, her mother, trying to pull the uh, the lioness off of her daughter. And you can actually sh This is in the movie, by the way. You don't really see Melanie Griffith being mauled by the lion. But you do see this. Um, and uh, she's not acting. You know, she's Melanie Griffith. She is really scared and it shows in the movie but the person that got hurt the worst is Jan de Bond the Dutch cinematographer um, he was sitting in a pit operating a camera and then one of the lions actually grabbed his head and literally scalped him and when he was you know at the hospital they went looking for another cin cinematographer because they figured he would not come back. But after a couple of days, Jan de Bond came back on the set and he stayed on the set for five years. And that's how long production of this movie took place. And um, you know, you might you might ask yourself, why did he just not leave? You know, I think every normal person would leave. I would have fucking leave. But uh, Jan de Bond thought you know this was going to be his breakthrough. And it was, you know, after this movie, he went behind the cameras of Die Hard and Black Rain, uh, Lethal Weapon 3, The Hunt for Red October, and he became the director of Speed and Twister. So this movie really gave him a Hollywood career, even though it almost cost him his life. But um, yeah, this, this is such an incredible, wild and crazy movie. And funny as well, believe it or not. It, it is funny at times. But this is one of those movies you just have to see to believe, you know. you this is, There's a, a lot of insane moments in this movie. And Noah Marshall, you know, her, her husband, and he, he also d directed and produced this movie and wrote this movie. He, he this guy is a madman, really. He just... The, and the entire family is crazy, but he's the most craziest of them all. I mean, there's a scene in this film where two lions are attacking each other. And Marshall is trying to go between them and stop the fight. And then one of the lions is turning against him. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a lot of crazy moments in this film. This is, you know, really a movie you have to see to believe. I would absolutely recommend it. Roar. Go check it out. And last but not least, I got this extraordinary box set from Arrow Video, which is Kinji Fukusaku's Battles Without Honor and Humanity uh, box set. Although this, it's also known as the Yakuza Papers film series, five movies in total. You know, the first one is Battle Without Honor and Humanity, uh, Hiroshima Deathmatch is the second one, Proxy War, Police Tactics. And the fifth one is called Final Episode. And this is uh, a fantastic box set. Uh, this, I got the, the UK one, by the way, which is limited to uh, 2,500 or 2,500. And I've only seen the first movie, by the way. Which, and I used the, uh, the alternative. You know, the original artwork on that. I still need to uh, change the other ones. But I've seen this, the first one, uh, and it's a great movie. Absolutely a terrific, terrific movie. Still need to see it. I'm going to watch this one tonight, by the way.
Hiroshima Deathmatch. There's Proxy War. I've always wanted to check this movie out. I know there was a an American DVD release that came out some years ago, ten years I believe. I'm not really sure. Um, but I'm glad that uh, Arrow has released this on Blue. And this has the uh, you know the complete saga. This has you know all the uh, all the movies you know combined together. And of course, this is the hardcover book that comes with it. Now, these are just excellent 1970s Yakuza movies. Great relief, this one. And uh, Kinji Fukusaku was a, was a master. You know, he also directed uh, Battle Royale and Virus and uh, many other great films. But uh, excellent um, uh, release. And that was it. I hope you enjoyed this update. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Hey there movie fans, are you still with me? Well if you are, I have a couple of surprises for you, especially those who uses uh, ultraviolet digital download codes. I have here four codes that I am about to give away. And uh, keep in mind by the way that these are from the American Blu-ray releases. So if you live outside of uh, America, my apologies because you cannot use these. But anyway, the first one is of uh, Curse of Chucky. And here are the details you need to know about it. Next is It Follows, which is a great little horror film in my opinion. Uh, Godzilla and here's the code and all the other information that you need and the last one is Goodfellas here you go and that was really it thank you again for watching and uh, I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.